वेलकम टू माई ऑनलाइन क्लास आई एम इंग्लिस टीचर ऑफ एल पी एम पब्लिक स्कूल दैट इज सिचुएटेड इन गोला बाजार गोरखपुर ओके स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज अ रिविजनल वीडियो ऑफ क्लास फोर्थ पोएम नंबर फाइव एंड द नेम ऑफ दिस पोएम इज माई मदर ओके स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द नेम ऑफ दिस पोएम एंड In this video, we are going to explain all exercise of this poem. So, students, first of all, we are going to explain what meaning of this poem. Okay, so students, here first word is tears of sweet affection, and students, here tears of sweet affection means tears of shed out of love and happiness. okay so students once again listen carefully tears of sweet affection means tears shed out of love and happiness now next word is gay next word is gay and students here gay means colorful gay means colorful now next word is seize next word is seize and here seize means stop Seize means stop. Now, next and last word, and here next word is the. Next word is the. And students, here the means old English word for you. Old English word for you. Okay, so students, now come to the here. Next exercise, and here exercise A. and exercise a is circle the correct words within the brackets okay so students in this exercise you have to circle the correct word okay so students you have to give you have to give give two options and you have to select one correct option okay so students here first sentence is the mother would shed tears of and here options are joy sorrow okay so students here correct option is joy correct option is joy and now the sentence is the mother would shed tears of while watching for her baby sleep now next number that is number 2 and here second sentence is the mother taught the child how to and here two option play and swim okay so students now here correct option is play correct option is play and this is the spelling of play p l a y now the sentence is the mother taught the child how to play now next number that is number 3 and here third sentence is the mother would and here options are never always listen to anything the child said students here correct option is always correct option is always okay so students now the sentence is the mother would always listen to anything the child said now next number that is number 4 and here fourth sentence is the mother would and here two option first is run away and second is run to help when the child fell down okay so students here correct option is run to help now the sentence is the mother would run to help when the child fell down okay so students here correct option is second option now next number that is number 4 uh, that is number 5 and here fifth sentence is the mother kissed the and students here two option first is child's doll and second is child when she got hurt okay so students here correct option is child correct option is child and now the sentence is the mother kissed the child when she got hurt now next number that is number Six and here sixth sentence is the child can never be, and here two option first is kind and second is cruel to her mother. Okay, so students here correct option is second option that is cruel, and now the sentence is 
this is the spelling of cruel and now the sentence is the child can never be cruel to her mother okay so students now next exercise that is exercise that is exercise b and exercise b is answer these questions okay so students in this question in this exercise you have to write answer of these questions now here question number 1 and question number 1 is who slept in cradle bed this is question number 1 who slept in cradle bed now answer of this question is the child slept in a cradle bed okay who slept the child the child slept in a cradle bed now next question that is question number 2 and here question number 2 is write three things that the poet's mother did for her when she was a child okay so students this is a question number 2 and now the answer of this question is the poet's mother dressed her doll taught her to play and listen to all her talk okay so students once again listen carefully the poet's mother dressed her doll taught her to play and listen to all her talk now next question that is question number 3 and the question number 3 is what does the poet mean by minded all i had to say this is question number 3 and now answer of this question is the poet the poet means that the poet's mother listened to all the things that the poet wanted to say once again listen carefully the answer of this question the poet means that the poet's mother listened to all the things that the poet wanted to say now next question that is question number 4 and here question number 4 is what did the child's mother do for her when she fell okay so students now answer of this question e the child's mother ran to help her stand when she fell once again listen carefully the child's mother ran to help her stand when she fell now next and last question of this exercise and here question number 5 question number 5 is why can the poet never stop being affectionate and kind to her mother now the answer of this question is the poet can never stop being affectionate and kind to her mother because she was very kind to her once again listen carefully the answer of this question the poet can never stop being affectionate and kind to her mother because she was very kind to her now next exercise that is exercise c and exercise c is use the clues to complete the word pyramid okay so students in this exercise you have to complete these words with the help of these clues so here first is m o dash a crowd okay so students in the given space you will write b and now the word is move a crowd next next is m o dash dash night insects so students in the given space you will write t h moth okay so students now next m o dash dash january is one of these okay so students here you will write month okay january is one of these now next next m o dash she loves you best of all okay so students here you will write mother m o t h e r okay so students here you will write mother now next line and next line m o dash the early part of the day okay so students here you will write morning m o r n i n g and now the word is morning the early part of the day now next and last line and here in the given space you will write mountain 
a very high place to climb okay so students here you will write mountain now next exercise that is exercise d and exercise d is take the correct words within the brackets so students in this exercise you have to take the correct word that has given to you in the brackets okay so students here first sentence is this is and here two option first is quiet and second also quiet neighborhood we have lived here for quite quite a long time okay so students in the first options you will write quiet and here second option is correct okay and the spelling of quiet is q u i t e okay in the first space you will tick the word that is quiet and in the second option you have to tick first word that is quiet okay so students in this sentence in the first option second is correct and in the second option uh, and in the second options first is correct now next next sentence is i have two two dogs they are too too wild to live inside the house okay so students here the correct word is two and the spelling of two is t w o and here the correct word is two that is the spelling of t w o now the sentence is i have two dogs they are too wild to live inside the house now next number that is number 3 and here third sentence is this is their their house our house is our over there so students in the first options here the correct option is there and the spelling of there is t h e i r and now in the second here the correct option is t h e r e here second option is correct and here first option is correct now next number that is number 4 and here fourth sentence is we have first option is already second option is already finished packing and next we are already already to leave okay so students here the correct option is already already this is the correct option here and second correct option is and and here second option is all ready okay so here uh, first option is correct and here second option is correct now next number that is number 5 and here fifth sentence is so students now fifth sentence is the book has a few the the book has a few loose pages here second option is correct please don't loss here first option is correct any of them okay so students now next exercise that is exercise e and exercise e is fill in the blanks with the ly forms of the words in the boxes with the students you have to complete this exercise with the help of these words and here first sentence is radha writes neat okay so students in the first space you have to write neat and now second sentence is jasbir speaks soft so students in the second sentence you have to write soft now next number that is number 3 and the third sentence is the proud father held his baby and here you will write loving 
okay now next sentence that is num sentence number 4 tara slammed the door dash and ran out of the room okay so students here you will write loud okay this is the correct option for this sentence now next sentence that is na sentence number 5 fell uh, sorry fali dressed dash and ran out to catch the school bus okay so students here you will write quick this is the correct option for this sentence now next exercise that is exercise f exercise f circle the adverbs of place in these sentences means to say that you have to circle the adverb in these sentences so here first sentence is the sun shines everywhere okay so students in the first sentence the adverb is everywhere so you have to circle the word everywhere now next number that is number 2 and here second sentence is mother is working upstairs and in this sentence the adverb is upstairs this is the adverb so you have to circle adverb that is upstairs now next number that is number 3 and here third sentence is you go ahead and i will follow you so students in this sentence the adverb is ahead now next sentence that is fourth seemer had lived here most of her life okay so students in this sentence the adverb is here now next number that is number 5 and here fifth sentence is it is about to rain don't go outside okay so students in this sentence the adverb is outside now next exercise that is exercise g and exercise g is circle the adverbs of time in these sentences so students in this exercise you have to circle adverbs of time so here first sentence is palash will come today okay so students in this sentence the adverb is today now next number that is number 2 and here second sentence is we go up late and missed the bus in this sentence the adverb of time is late now next number that is 3 and here third sentence is you rarely uh, writes to his grandmother okay so students in this sentence the adverb of time is rarely now next number that is number 4 and here fourth sentence is my my father takes the metro to work daily so students in this sentence the adverb is daily this is the adverb of time now next number that is number 5 and here fifth sentence is please tidy up your room immediately so students in this sentence the adverb of time is immediately now next and last number that is number 6 it wasn't this hot yesterday so students in this sentence the adverb of time is yesterday so you have to circle the word yesterday because this is the adverb of time so students i hope this is clear to you and you have to learn all exercise of this chapter and practice all exercise in your practice copy now thank you